dog went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked them blood and empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lasses in the woods. They're dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you, wearing swords like a bandit? Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm? Had about enough of this. Asked a simple question. You've seen the woman or haven't you? Fear not, children. There's no to fear, Graham. He's only angry because he cares. Maybe Johnny knows something. I'll take him to Johnny, before he goes barmy on us. Johnny's your invention, and you shouldn't be using those ugly words. To the hut! Go on now! You'll stand in the corner, I'll make sure you do. And you, stop scaring the little ones. Now go! Be gone! Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids.
Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone! Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him, the others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails, but Gran says Johnny's made up. The girl I mentioned is in danger. All right, but you've got to do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. It means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud all your thi- One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. I can see you. Found me. See you. Come out. I found you. You can stop hiding. No one left hiding. You're a wizard, right? Gonna show us some tricks when we get to the cottage. No, we'll talk about you. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Gran! 
Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be, but... Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow. Thank you. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow?
Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Stay close to me. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Ah, the bottle from the nest. Already got it. Here. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. Watch out!
three thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> It's clear, not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I. You, it got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A 
A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. That's it, Roach.
huh? Ah. On your way. Greetings. Nice village. Aye. A real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all. Oh, fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Ladies of the Wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thakla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Show yourself. I want to talk.
place of power. Please, 
I can be a deal. A gallop for change. I shall see them. Only I can. Master. seem human to me.
Come on. Let's go! Hey there. While searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, 
Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Ciri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Ciri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. While searching for the witch Ciri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Ciri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it. Kira gave him a new lead, the Crones of Crookback Bog.
festive crow perch a wine bird. Got any nettles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Believe me, you don't want to know. What have you done? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. You're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. The woman who cares for the kids. She's a debt to pay. She is here by choice. She's insane. She knew what our pact entailed when she made it. We helped her. She promised to serve. Now she bears our mark. Belongs to us. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail, 
terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, dear boy. We knew someone supposed to die. We read beast and trails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the Elder Blood, the soul sea that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. Elder Blood! Mm, the blood of the Tetris. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Emlyrith will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. 
Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die in the same handsome night. <laughs> 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 